Hi everybody, welcome to Greybeard's Jewels. Today we want to start off with a quick shout out to subscriber Shora Hussein. Thank you for your support. Want your own shout out? Comment the word shout out below. And without further ado, here are 10 fun facts about Kentucky. Number 1. The Kentucky Derby has been run at Churchill Downs in Louisville every year since 1875. The race was founded by the grandson of William Clark of the famed Lewis and Clark Exploration Team and is modeled after horse racing events in England and France. Tradition is strong at the Derby. Both men and women don their finest fashions, topped with extravagant hats, and many enjoy sipping the traditional Derby favorite, mint juleps. And each year, the winning horse is draped with a blanket of roses. The fastest horse to win? Secretariat, with a time of 1 minute 59.40 seconds. Number 2. Corvettes came into existence in 1953 and have been an American sports car favorite ever since. Originally built in Flint, Michigan, then St. Louis, Missouri for many years, their production was moved to Bowling Green in the early 80s and has remained there ever since. This iconic car has been featured in films like Corvette Summer, a 1978 film featuring Mark Hamill of Star Wars fame, and TV shows like Route 66 and songs such as Princess Little Red Corvette. Number 3. Kentucky Fried Chicken was created by Colonel Harlan Sanders in Corbin, Kentucky during the Great Depression. Originally selling fried chicken from his roadside restaurant, perfecting his secret recipe and technique for cooking chicken, Colonel Sanders developed the tasty fast food chicken we all know and love today. Colonel Sanders traveled the world pitching his methods to restaurant owners and the first franchise was opened in Salt Lake City, Utah in 1952. Along with his methods and recipes, franchising rights include the use of his likeness and persona for advertising. Before we go any further, just a quick reminder to like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. And thank you to all our new and current subscribers. We really appreciate your support. Thank you. Number 4. Cumberland Falls State Resort Park is packed with things to do, from camping and hiking to mining for gems and bird watching. But the most unique attraction is the falls themselves. Cumberland Falls offers visitors a chance to see a phenomenon known as a moonbow. Much like its daylight equivalent, the rainbow, the moonbows occur when light is refracted from tiny droplets of water. If skies are clear, the moonbows can be seen a day or two on either side of a full moon. Once a regular occurrence over Niagara Falls, they are no longer seen there due to the light pollution. Number 5. The McCoy family of the famously feuding Hatfields and McCoys hailed from Pike County and the Hatfield family resided nearby in West Virginia. The families lived along the Tug Fork of the Big Sandy River and both were in the timber and moonshine businesses and coexisted peacefully until Asa McCoy fought for the Union during the Civil War while the others all sided with the Confederacy. A Confederate raid killed the man whom Asa served under and it was with the Hatfields he sought revenge. The family learned of Asa's plan against their patriarch and he was killed before it could be carried out. This of course enraged the McCoys and the feud was on. Number 6. St. Mary's Cathedral Basilica of the Assumption in Covington is home to what is believed to be the world's largest handmade stained glass window in a church. It's 67 foot high and 24 foot wide. This work of art is truly awe-inspiring and depicts both the coronation of Mary after her Assumption and the Council of Ephesus. The basilica boasts many other beautiful works of art and gorgeous Gothic architecture throughout and is truly a sight to behold. Number 7. Fort Knox is home to the United States Bullion Depository. Commonly referred to as Fort Knox, the fortified vault is located nearby the Fort Knox Army Base and the name is synonymous with security. The depository is highly guarded, not only by the United States Mint Police, but inside the fence that surrounds the site, there are rings of razor wire and minefields. The facility stores and protects over half the U.S. gold reserves, around 150 million troy ounces, and has housed many priceless items at varying times throughout history. 
Number 8. Students at Transylvania University in Lexington enter a lottery. The prize for four lucky winners is a night in the on-campus tomb of eccentric naturalist and professor Constantine Raffinesque. He was known internationally for his research in botany, and he taught at the university from 1819 to 1826. And upon being removed from his post, he famously placed a curse on the university that takes place every seven years. Today, he is still very much part of the university, and students pay homage annually with a convocation, torchlight parade, and dance around Halloween. Number 9. Bourbon County is where the alcoholic beverage gets its name. The iron-free calcium-imparting water in the area reduces bitterness and adds a slight sweetness to the finished product. Bourbon is a type of whiskey only produced in the United States, mainly using corn. Critical to the process is a minimum of two years of aging the distilled beverage in a new charred oak barrel, which imparts the distinct flavors attributed to fine bourbon. Approximately 95% of all bourbon is still produced in Kentucky. Number 10. Famous faces from Kentucky include the greatest of all time, legendary boxer Muhammad Ali, born as Cassius Clay in Louisville. Captain Jack Sparrow himself, actor Johnny Depp, was born in Owensboro. 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, was born in Hodgenville. Legendary country singer Loretta Lynn was born in Butcher Holler, and she really was a coal miner's daughter, as her famous song states. Not to mention her also famous little sister, country singer Crystal Gale, known for her hit Don't It Make My Brown Eyes Blue, as well as her iconic floor-length hair, was born in Paintsville. In closing, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Greybeard's Jewels.